Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you guys can see every single time that I post. I don't have a schedule yet, so that will notify you guys every time that I post. And this video is gonna be my video on my interior design do's and don'ts because I was making a lot of these mistakes and I feel like I want to help you guys with all of the tips that I know and what has really helped my home come together. So stay tuned for that. But before I start, I do want to do my outfit of the day. It's always super simple, but don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will leave everything listed down below and any links for anything that you guys want to shop in my home will be in the description as well. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm feeling leather lately so I have this bodysuit it's actually a long sleeve bodysuit and I got it from Zara and I love the plunging neckline on it I thought that was a great feature and then I have this leather jacket that I thrifted from Goodwill and I think it was about nine dollars and these pants are also thrifted from Goodwill I love a pair of trousers and leather trousers like I feel like that was what I was looking for. I didn't even know it, but I was looking for this. I have these faux patent leather shoes from Eagle Official. These are actually very comfortable, and yeah, I really like them. So this is my outfit of the day. All right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want any outfit of the day post or anything like that. All fashion-related content will be on my Instagram. First don't I want to talk about is space planning and mapping your space. I feel like when a lot of people move into their apartment or their home, they don't think about how their style would work in the space, where they're gonna put their TV, where they'll put their sofa. They don't map out the area enough to know what will work in that actual space. Because before you wanna go to the furniture stores, before you wanna spend money on anything, you definitely wanna see what you have to work with. So I would go in each room Room and kind of make a vision board or a mood board in your head or if you have a Pinterest board keep that going so you know exactly where you would want certain things and if they can actually fit so you might want a sofa in your sunroom for example but maybe for your space it wouldn't require that because you have a living room right next to that so that space could just be your office or your workout room so you do want to think about how functional each room will be and if you want a room to serve multiple purposes so definitely plan your space so you don't go to the store and you buy a whole bunch of furniture or items that won't fit or don't go aesthetically your home should always tell a story about you and how you like to use each individual space so when you're creating your mood board maybe try to go inside furniture stores that have the same aesthetic that you like and what you're into so you can get a good reference on what what furniture actually needs to be in each space. I love walking around Restoration Hardware because I feel like that is my ideal design aesthetic and space and that helps me map out exactly where I want sofas, if I want a love seat, if I want a full couch. It really does help me a lot. So think about that when you are mapping out your space. Now in regards to your floor plan, that is very important when mapping out your space. If you have a more open concept home, you want all your colors to tie in together so when you move from room to room your rooms flow so I have an open concepts kind of space so I get to see all of my furniture all at once so from one section to another I feel like my furniture flows so I use a lot of colors to bring in some cohesion and also if you have a closed floor plan you can do a lot more with that i feel like you can definitely change up your style from room to room just find one common thread that will keep your home cohesive 
The next thing I want to touch on is scale. Scale will go hand in hand in mapping your space out because if you mapped your space out, you'll know exactly what you'll need. So when you actually have to pick out the furniture, you'll know what size to get. So when I first moved into my apartment, I made sure to measure each room. And before I went to Facebook Marketplace or any furniture store, I made sure I had all the measurements for each room and I mapped out my space so I knew exactly what I needed needed in each room I had a good visual bring a measuring tape with you when you go out shopping when you're on Facebook marketplace do not forget to ask them the dimensions of each item that you're getting that's very important because you want to make sure that your sofa isn't too large for your living room your your coffee table isn't too low and a good rule if you have a small space like I do I definitely recommend you guys get low profile furniture that was a mouthful but get low profile furniture it's like sofas and coffee table because the low height of it definitely makes the room feel a lot larger and you want to give your eye an illusion of a larger space at all times if i was to have a sofa that was normal height i feel like it would close in my space a lot and don't block windows when you have small spaces windows actually help you to make your space look a lot larger so don't block windows. A good rule for your living area when you are thinking of scale is your sofa shouldn't span the entire wall. It should definitely leave 18 inches on either side for a coffee table or a lamp. And your coffee table and your couch should have about 12 to 18 inches of space as well. Because you want to think about when you want to put your feet up or if you have a coffee table that's flat surface, you want to think about how far will I have to reach to get my drink. So it still has to be functional in that way. So think about stuff like that when you are thinking of scale. So you don't want to make your rooms look extremely overcrowded. So there should be 18 inches on either side of your sofa if you have a small space and 12 to 18 inches for your coffee table. Don't forget to add greenery to your space it is the color or pop of color that you are looking for if you are more a minimalist with your color schemes and your tones you definitely want to bring a pop of color and a pop of life into your space i feel like greenery adds that finishing touch to every room if you feel like your room is looking a little bit monochromatic definitely add some greenery or some florals on your side tables or a nice large plant by your sofa really does the trick because I feel like that's one tip that I wasn't doing because I was afraid to take care of live plants so add real and fake plants because the real plants just look they look better change out your builder grade items this is a tip for renters or homeowners for renters you actually can change out items and keep them in a baggie let's say you want to change your faucet or your poles for your kitchen cabinets you can definitely do that just make sure you hold on to them and you reinstall it so you can still get your security deposit back at the end I actually love my handles in my kitchen so I haven't changed anything but if I didn't like them I definitely would do that and in my bedroom I actually decided to take off the door on my closet to give me that luxury like hotel vibe so I saved the door and I actually put it in my closet because I wanted to upgrade my space so you can definitely do a lot more in a home but you can still do a lot in an apartment or if you're renting so just hold on to everything that you do change and then change it back and some installments I think your future the future buyers would actually appreciate like if you change out your shower head to a nice expensive one you could leave that but things like the pools and the faucets you might want to change back because that's all preference so change out your builder grade faucets pools and also your window treatments window treatments can really make your house look and feel a lot more luxurious and thought out so change out your blinds from the plastic ones to the wooden ones or get shutters anything like that will definitely bring your home up just another notch 
Upper placement is so important. Once you have the mapping down, once you have the scale, once you bring everything in and you know where everything will go, think about where you're gonna hang your artwork and how you're gonna hang it, how you're gonna hang your TVs. A rule of thumb for artwork is to make sure it's eye level. Depending on how tall you are, that you can play around with depending on how tall your walls are that's also something you can play with but make sure that it's eye level for the average height person so that is definitely a rule of thumb and for your curtains this was a mistake that i didn't even think of and this has really done the trick to make my home look amazing you want to make sure you're placing your curtains at the right height so you don't want your curtains to be too long or too short I didn't know this was like one of my mistakes that I was making and I had no idea when I used to live at home I didn't really think about that until I got in my own space I realized that curtains that are placed a lot higher make the room just feel grand to me and I feel like it really finishes off the space so you want to hang your curtains two to three inches from the ceiling and definitely pick curtains that are neutral colors I would go with white or off-white I feel like that brightens up any dark space you do also want to think about the proportions when it comes to mounting a TV so this was not something I thought about as well because I've never moved out before I've never done this so when you are placing your TV on the wall you want to make sure that it's slightly above eye level so you're not looking all the way up but you're not you know cricking your neck or anything like that rugs ugh, rugs are so important and I feel like a lot of people forget this when they're actually planning out their space. Yes, you can talk about your sofa, you can think about your coffee table or any bookshelves you wanna add, but rugs really define a space, especially in an open concept house. You want to have rugs to define each area. So in my home, I have a rug in every room, but all of my rugs flow together and I made sure they have a common thread. A rule of thumb for rugs in the living area is you want to make sure the rug covers most of the surface area in your room and make sure at least the two front legs sit on the rug. You can leave the back legs out so you can still have some of your floor exposed and make sure your rug is wide enough to where you can fit a coffee table and have enough space on either side. Your dining room rug should be about a foot longer and wider than the table and you want to leave 18 inches of space all around because when you pull out your chair you want to make sure that all four legs are still on the rug and my last tip is definitely relax this is supposed to be a fun process if you're remodeling your house or redecorating or decorating in general don't think that you have to do everything that these designers do like i'm still learning and i'm just giving you guys tips that i've learned along the way so there's some mistakes that i probably made but it's okay to make mistakes sometimes those mistakes are what make your home extremely unique and i really feel like you have to add your own touch to it no matter what a tip says just keep in mind the main tips that i listed are really important but anything else you can definitely add your own twist to it so don't be scared of designing and exploring your taste all right creators thank you so much for watching this video were you guys making any of these mistakes leave a comment down below because i want to see because i was definitely making the mistakes with my curtains and the rug size i didn't know i was doing this so I hope these tips helped you guys and if you guys have any other tips that you want to leave below for anyone to learn from just leave them in the comments section I would love to have a discussion going because I feel like there's a lot more do's and don'ts that I forgot but I didn't want to make this video super super long but thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with all your friends that are into interior decorating i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time bye